Hello everybody! It is time for our for this week's spelling practice. So to start with we have this page here. Your first task says draw a line to match the words with the pictures. So on the right side we have words, on the left side we have pictures. So in order to do that you need to read. If you can read these words straight away, brilliant. If not, first sound them out and then read them. Okay? D ad. Dad. So it must be this picture here because here is a dad walking with his children. The next one is here. Can you try and read it at once? Sip. Good job. To sip means to drink a little bit, so it must be this picture here. The next word is this one. Mat. Good. Mat is like a little carpet where you wipe your shoes, so it must be this one. Mat. Good. The next one is different from the previous one, just in this little letter at the end. So can you try and read it? Map. Map. Map is like a picture that shows you where to go if you want to find place. So here is our map. And the last one is here. Pin. Good. Here is a pin. It's a sharp piece of metal that you can use to fasten things up on the wall. And then your work on this page is done. So you need to move on to the next task. And the next task here is to find out which sound is missing in these words. Now here we have a bucket. And the bucket is filled with sand. But the word here says sand. What's that sound missing at the end? For sand. Sand. D. Good job. Sand. Here is a picture of something used when you send a letter to somebody and it's called stamp stamp so what's missing here stamp it's the sound m good the next picture is this one here is a boy who sits in his armchair and the word is sit of course but we only have first and the last letter st What's missing in the middle? E, of course. S, E, T. Here is a picture of a man. But all that is written here is an. So what's missing there? The beginning sound, which is man. M, M, man. Good. Here we have a spoon, which is dipped into something that looks like porridge. So the word is dip, dip. But all it's written here is ip. So what's missing? The, 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 the sound, of course, at the beginning. Dip. The next task is here. It says trace and copy the sentence. First, let's read it, okay? A. Uh, Sad man. Good job. A sad man. So let's trace it nicely. A sad man. Once you finish tracing, you need to copy the same sentence here a sad man n a n good now the 
that you're interested in that, you can take another piece of paper that we prepared for you. It's the worksheet that looks like this. And it's actually a task about the tricky words. So here they are, two of the tricky words that we have learned so fast, uh, so far. So I hope you can read them straight away. The first one is here, two. The second one, the. Well done. But now you not only need to read it, you also need to learn how to write it. So here is first tracing the word two, and then write it yourself. So you have little dots here which will tell you where to start writing the word two. Two. Remember, it's the word that we use to show the direction in which we are going. Like, I'm going to school. And I'm going to the park. Two. When you finish that, you turn your page. And now it's becoming really tricky because this time you need to finish the caption. Well, the caption is like a little title that explains a picture or some text. So one word, one whole word is missing here. And the rest of the sentence is man is Tim. So a tricky word is missing here. Can you guess what it is? It has three letters and it's tricky word. It's this one. The. the man is Tim. So we need to write here the. The man is Tim. Now here is an even longer caption. So let's try and figure out which two words are missing here. A map. Mm -hmm. Sand. Pit. Now this is a long word, so to help you read it, you can first read the first part, sand, then the second, pit, and then you put them together, sand, pit. So, a map, <laughs> sand, pit. Well, to help you with that, we are going to use both tricky words that we spoke about today. Two and the. A map. Two. The. Sand pit. Good job. A map. Two. The. Sand pit. Well done everybody. Now the last task that we have here, maybe the most difficult one, is Write your own caption. Now, as I told you, caption is like a little title that explains a picture. So, for example, a caption for this picture could be the hot sun. For this one, it could be the pink dress. For this one, I would say milk to drink. This one could be a happy dog. So, how about that one? Milk to drink. Milk. Milk. Good. Then we need to make space. Then the next word. To. Again, space. D r d r e m k. Lots of consonants there. Milk to drink. That's my caption, but you can write any caption you would like yourselves. Okay? Good job, everybody. See you soon. Bye.